Hi everyone, Greg here. Well, what time is it? Quarter past four. What have I done all day? Nothing. But I just looked in the fridge. Well, I have done some stuff. I was cleaning the house. It takes a while to clean this house, I tell you. I uh, swept like my veranda here. Nice and neat. And, oh, that's right. Somebody wanted to see that plant that I saved. The one on the footpath. This is it. Look at this, look how good it's looking. It's got beautiful, like new leaves on it. Looks really happy. It likes the shade, so I'm keeping it in there. In the shade, that is. It's pretty sunny outside, which it pretty much always is where I live. Uh, but it's supposed to be really heating up over the next week. It's supposed to be in the mid 30 Celsius. So with the, that with the humidity, it's gonna be a nightmare without air conditioning. I'm gonna have to be doing a lot of like shopping, just wandering the aisles of the shopping centers, just to get in some air conditioning. Or go to the beach and go for a swim. Uh, but look, I've just put some rice to cook on because I've got some uh, food that I need to use up. But I've got Ryan, my old mate Rhino, Rhino, Rhino. He's coming over tomorrow and we're gonna go out to the casino tomorrow night. To the old boiler bar so uh, if anyone's around uh, come and say good day at the boiler bar at the casino and we'd be wandering in and out through there as well but I just had a look in the fridge and I'll tell you what I'm running like really low on beers look well there's ginger beer there's a couple of ciders still quite a few ginger beers and ciders but I've run out of beer and well I thought I'd take a trip to the old bottle o and Suss out, uh, see if there's any specials on. Come on, let's go. Where's my hat? All right, well, I've been and come back and I bought some beers to do beer reviews. I'm going to start doing beer reviews. So I got this, Landia, 500 mils. I've got a Great Northern. These are all on special for like two bucks, which is good. The Heineken Mid Strength, I haven't tried that one yet. The Pacer, had one the other day, it was pretty good. What's that? A Ligurigari. The mid-strength Stella, they're nice. I don't even know what that one is. I don't even know if it's beer. And what else? Some Carlsberg, that was on special for ten dollars for five hundred mil cans. So that was good. And I got a VB. Yeah, why not? So I'll do a review on all of those beers eventually. Whew, maybe I should buy more and do like testing ones first, so I know what I'm talking about. Nah, stuff it. What do I care? Right, so, now that's done, what's next? Hmm. Oh, I almost forgot. Got one of these Miller lime chill things. Chill, yeah. So I'll give one. I know I've had that before, I don't rate it, but hey, you never know, my taste buds might have changed as I've matured into a fully grown man. Well, my body and wrinkles have. <laughs> <laughs> but my maturity level is still a, a grade six level. Oh, what's that? Mozzie. Damn! Oh, it's a fruit fly. Bloody fruit flies, mate. They're bloody everywhere. Been eating all this fruit. It must just breed like fruit flies. Did you know the fruit fly is the animal with the smallest brain? Them and the lefties. <laughs> well, I might as well have a beer while I'm waiting to see what I'm going to do. I'll head on down to the lake later uh, it might still be sunny down there I don't like going in the sun it's too hot might as well have one of these the old pale ale the beer you drink when you can't afford anything else beer you drink when you want to drink beer well priced tastes good although after you've had some other beer and you taste it it doesn't taste that good but you soon get used to it again Right, I might just sit out here for a little while with the mosquitoes and uh, share a beer with you. We can talk about things like, I don't know, pizza? Mm, I love pizza. Always have, and I always will. Remember, Pizza Hut used to do a good uh, Super Supreme back in the old days before they went crap. Now, mate, they're just closing stores everywhere. I wrote them a, a, a letter you know, years ago telling them their pizzas were crap and they should do something about it. They didn't listen. Now look at them. You see? I had the foresight. Wish I had the foreskin. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, 
Scott Gay Greggy was so much fun, wasn't he? Oh boy, he could come up with some crackers. Oh crackers. <laughs> the 4X Gold Pale Ale is my beer of choice. For now, it'd be great if 4X sent me like free ones. Oh, I should write him an email say, mate, send me some free beers. Well, send me vouchers for your beers and I'll drink them all the time on my vlogs. They should. Sure? They probably won't. They won't do that. They probably won't. I mean, why would they? I'll have to get Bernice to do that for me. I'll get her straight onto it. Bernice, can you do that for me, please? Uh, 4X Brewery. Whoever owns them. I think the Kiwis own them now, don't they? Lion and Nathan. Bloody Kiwis. Oh, I still haven't been there. I will though, I'll get there one day. Looks beautiful, looks nice. So, I've been around the world, so, you know, it, it, all I can say is it can't be worse than India. Oh my God, that was an absolute shithole. It was the Haiti of that part of the world. Oh, mate, you could live there though. You get used to it. Took me a while to get used to. I say getting used to it, but, oof. Mate, right. absolute shocking. Maybe it's just the dust and the dirt that's there. It's just dusty and dirty. It's like a desert. It's like a whole big desert. Or just like houses and people. That's the cities, not the uh, countryside, which I never got to see. Oh, I sort of did. <laughs> it was just dirt. <laughs> Poor India. Uh, I got a, an Indian friend and I visited him. He came here to work and he's, he got here, he was up in Cairns working. He got here and uh, he was in the taxi on the way to his new house and he saw these people walking around with no shoes on and he thought, oh my God, I thought India was a poor country. This is worse. Until he realised that that's the way we get around here. We don't worry about our shoes. But then of course he um, got used to it after 12 months and he just loved it. He's just telling me all these drinking stories. Just, he loved the Forex Golds. That was his beer of choice. But yeah, man, they drink over there. Oof. They just all drive around with like bottles of Bacardi. That's right. I think they used, a, you had a mixer as well. It was either Coke or lemonade, one of those things. But man, they drank. Oof. Every night too. Oof. I don't know how they do it. Yeah, saw a few car accidents. Couldn't wait to get home. But now, I'd really like to go back again. Just to, just to relive that. Because it was so traumatizing for me. Some of the poverty there that you just saw, just in your tuk-tuk going along these streets, just piled with rubbish. Neatly piled with rubbish. Not just, well, sort of neatly. These towns made up of scraps. No water, no electricity, no sewerage. Oh my god, I don't know how they do it. They, uh, I think they just keep it as clean as they can. But man, they are shitholes, mate. Absolute shitholes. Oh, mate. It is perfect down here. Still a bit of sun, but... Oh. Wow. Nice and still. Fantastic. I just love watching the fish grab the white thing and then swimming off with it. Sometimes they swim around with it in their mouth and just get chased. It's just funny to watch. Bloody smokers, mate. Throw your fucking pot in your fucking pocket, for God's sake. Not that. Yeah. Stick it in here. It's empty. I'm not making a cocktail. Although, it might be an interesting cocktail. Cigarette butts and beer. I'm sure many a pe person has had it after a big party. When there's just that beer sitting on the table and they just take a swig out of it. Ah. Yeah. 
three of them. Bloody chain smokers. God, I'm a whining old man, aren't I? He's always complaining. Never got a nice thing to say about anything. Especially smokers. Bloody smokers. Oh well, at least it creates jobs. In hospitals. <laughs>